so guys here we are and we are continuing on from the previous step which was setting up our campaign as you can see right here the ad set name is mobile demo conversions we are going to leave this as website the pixel is already set up here is where you will choose your conversion event um i know that recently facebook made a change with the whole um ios which is apple type convergence so i'm going to go on but if we come up on that we will skip over that because there is some more advanced steps obviously required for that that i don't have to hand right now so for your pixel to fire obviously we set this up in a previous step if you can remember we went into our squeeze page and we set up the pixel so you're supposed to choose an event right here aha uh -huh, and here it is that we were talking about so you choose an event if you want somebody to complete a registration obviously where you want your pixel to fire so you can see that the person has actually opted in or a lead or a purchase or what have you but because we want leads right here or purchases right here we can click on purchase right and as you can see the warning right here but we are going to go on and leave that because that refers just to the apple devices and in the marketplace there is i'm sure i saw somebody had a product that would fix this and again it is only for those people who have obviously the apple type devices this you can leave it off here again you have to select obviously your facebook page right so i'm just gonna select 246 solutions as a page for this this step right because your ad obviously has to run on one of your pages here you can create your offer right and tell people exactly what it is that you are going to be dealing with um like in this case it's just a demo for me and you can schedule your start time here and your end time and of course this is mostly if you are going to be dealing with like um e-commerce etc right you can create your offers right here for e-commerce you will start your start time right here right like right here sorry your end date right here because you would have set your start time in the campaign section and then obviously the end date of obviously how long you want your ads to run by default facebook would have this set up for like seven days right so you could create your offer right there again if you didn't set your budget over here you can set it over here as you can see the start date here like i said facebook has it by default for like seven days and you can set the end date here also it is optional right here the start time and then all you have to do is keep on going through this stuff like this um and again you just click on the little exclamation mark here and it tells you exactly what you want to know now we are in this section 
that I know you guys are going to enjoy so right here you need to set your location and in this case I am going to set this to the United States of America right people living in or recently in this location again there is a lot of talk about whether you should use people living in or recently in this location or people living in this location I just go for people living in this location right and then you set your location right countries And here we are going to define our audience right here so you get to choose your audience right here the age limit I normally go for around 21 where I believe people have access to a credit card and it all depends on the offer obviously that you are promoting so I normally go like 21 up to like 55 again it depends on the audience that you are targeting and as you can see the audience is dropping here as you add this in again um, in most cases women buy more stuff than the men again you will see the audience has changed right here the detail targeting expansion this is where Facebook allows you to choose certain demographics interests or behaviors like right here if you are selling um, jewelry right you would come in here you would type in jewelry and Facebook would give you all of these different types of jewelry and of course you would pick the different types here that you want like um, costume jewelry etc right this is where you go about detailing your targeting based on what you are promoting now I am not saying to anybody that you should go out there and promote weight loss products I know people who do it and I, I don't understand how it all works from this perspective and I'm not talking about the targeting perspective some people obviously are in with Facebook and they can do stuff like that but if you are now starting out trust me you don't want to go promoting like weight loss products and stuff like that because Facebook will ban you Facebook will shut you down they will shut down your account so if you have like your Shopify store etc or you're giving away free software to get leads etc by all means continue but try to avoid those high-end niches that have a certain amount of risk to them like dating and stuff like that you've heard it straight from my mouth again I'm just gonna leave it like this because this is just for um, demo purposes right here you want to choose manual placements because you want to do your placements yourself and again right here you get to decide where you want your ads to run if on Facebook on face on Instagram um, on messenger audience network in this case we are just going to go with this little one right here Facebook right and as you remember we selected mobile Boop. 
and then you can decide where you want your ads to run 99.99 percent .99 of the time facebook news feed is where your ad should run because that is where people are on their devices and that is the most place that they will see their ads since that you remove facebook marketplace video feeds of course if you were running video ads you would use this one right here you can take it out the, the groups all of this other stuff that um is not necessary right here you're not running in stream videos you're not running search articles none of this stuff right here you're just running in the news feed like what you can see right there again optimization and delivery you can leave this right here because it's already set and then all you have to do is to click on next again because we are going through this step by step i am going to finish this video right here and then we are going to go over to where you will set up your ad right here so i'll see you in the next tutorial